Today we're doing a tutorial video in real time that will show you how you can create a pixel art bonsai tree for extra zen. For this tutorial I'm using Asprite software, a 120 by 120 pixel canvas, and this palette I created. The link to the palette is in the description. Okay, let's get started on our bonsai tree. We're going to do a new file, 120 pixels by 120 pixels. And for our palette, we're going to go to the hamburger menu, load palette, and we're going to select the palette that you downloaded from the description. And once we've got our palette in here, we're going to rename this first layer and we'll just call it background BG. And I'll put this light color in there. I'm going to add a little bit of flare to the background here. So using our paint brush tool, we're going to do a three pixel size pencil and just kind of go around the outside here. Once that's done, we'll grab a slightly lighter color and we'll go around the edges of this. We're going to give our frame here kind of a beveled look. Okay, and we'll select a darker color for the inside of the frame. I guess this the shaded side of the frame here. There, that looks nice. A good background to start with. Let's create a new layer, shift N. And this is going to be our bonsai pot. We're going to use our clay E color here. Not the darkest one, one brighter. And we'll just start by kind of angling in here. Making a gradual curve. And we'll do something like that. And then we can grab this copy it, paste, flip it with shift H, and use that to create an identical other side. And what we can do here while we're on this layer, if we go to the move tool with a V, and then hold down control, it'll tell us the distances of the uh, the current layers of pixels to the edge here. So it looks like we are not quite centered. Oops, I moved the wrong thing there. Need to make sure that we are on the pot. Okay, 17 on this side, 18 on this side. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and select this, move it in one pixel. Now using our move tool, we can see that we're centered here. And we'll fill that in. We'll add some feet to the bottom of our pot. And one way we can measure these is we can use the selection tool. And these are this one is nine pixels wide by one pixel tall. And this one is 10. So we'll go ahead, add a pixel to the short one. And then we can also measure our distance from the edge here. Six pixels from the edge. And six pixels from the edge. Good. All right. So this is just the silhouette of our pot. Now we will go ahead and add some outline here. Our light source is going to be coming from the upper right corner here. So we will grab a light. 
lighter color. Sorry, the upper left is where our right light source is going to be coming from. And we're going to add some lines here. Maybe this is some detail work on the pot. I think that looks nice. We can kind of do a, a, a manual gradient here. And then to give the impression of the light kind of folding around the curve of this pot, we're going to use the gradient tool over here, shift G, and we're gonna select this color as our foreground color, this color as our background color, and we'll do some quick gradients. Oops. We want to make sure that we select our buyer matrix 8x8. Eight eight. There we go. And we'll do the same thing from this other side here. Using our mid-tone and our darker color. Whoops. Selected the wrong thing there. There, that gives us a nice gradient on our pot. Let's replace some of these lines here. There we go. Okay, so next we are going to add the soil that our bonsai tree is going to be growing in. So we'll create a new layer, call it soil, and we'll grab our mid-tone green color here, and we're just going to kind of do some shaky hand, little mounds of soil over the top of the pot here. And we'll go ahead and fill that in. Now we're going to select that outline that we just created, or that silhouette of our soil. And we're going to drop in some lighter colors here. Real loose. Just lots of clicks. I want you to try to do this somewhat quickly here. Drop in some darker green here and maybe a couple real dark areas I know soil isn't typically green but we've got some moss growing on our soil here and some real light yellow here where the sun would be hitting the soil Okay, that's good for our soil. Now let's create a new layer and we're gonna do the trunk of our tree. So we will start with this kind of mid-tone brownish red color. And we need to figure out how we want the trunk of our tree to look. I think we're going to do a swooping like kind of C motion here. Make it nice and simple. But um, it's always a good idea to look at reference for this kind of thing. All right. And then we make it tapering slightly bigger as we come back down. And as it comes in here, it might even clump back towards the soil. And we'll just fill in this area. We want the trunk to be behind the soil. So we can grab that and go to the edge and drag it down one layer here. Fill that in. And there might be 
a smaller branch coming off this way. Remember, we're not trying to go too big. And then maybe one right out here. All right. Now that we've got our silhouette, we can come in and clean up any bad lines here. There we go. We can cover up a lot of this. But before we put in our foliage, let's add the texture of the tree here. We'll start by selecting the tree, selecting a, a slightly brighter color here, and we're just real quickly going to fill in these light spots. Here's some, some roots that are sticking out. Just try to think of where the sun would land on these. Don't worry too much about the um, the ends of the branches. Those will be covered by foliage. We'll add in some shadows on the dark side here. There we go real quick that's the challenge for for today on this one be real quick in texturing your trunk all right a new layer this is going to be our foliage and to begin with we're going to take our mid-tone green and our pencil tool get about a three pixel brush here and we're going to put in some dome-like shapes. But real loose. Oop, fill that in. And we're just doing the... Doing the silhouettes for now. And this tree is very well manicured. All of the foliage clumps are fairly flat on the bottom. Somebody's taking good care of this thing. Okay, we'll fill that in. And now we can come in and finish texturing the trunk of our tree. Now that we know where where our uh, foliage is going to be, and there's going to be some shaded parts just below where the foliage meets the trunks. Not too crazy, though. Okay, back to the foliage. We'll start with this one up here. Don't want to select it yet. We need to create the leaf-shaped brush we're going to use to create the texture on these, this foliage. So we'll take one color brighter than our current silhouette. And we'll create this like Tetris T shape. Select that, do control B. That will create a brush of it. And then we're just going to kind of use this shape to paint in some leaves. We'll do multiple passes here. Remember, the brightest part is the top left. Okay, now let's 
select maybe one color darker and throw some of that in there these ones on the right side may have more dark spots than this one in the top left okay and some darker yet maybe that one's reserved for just this spot over here maybe a tiny bit here and there these other clumps not too much now we want to come in with a tiny bit of highlight maybe for the edges here and some of the bigger bright clumps and there we go we've got a nice little bonsai tree there i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i can't wait to see how yours turned out until next time have a wonderful day